So I traveled to Thailand back in September when restrictions were a little bit more tight. But if you are watching this video right now, Thailand is now even more open to fully vaccinated visitors from Canada and 62 other countries. No quarantine, you can enter at any international airport, take one PCR test on arrival, and spend one minimum night in the Shaw Plus accredited hotel waiting for your results. After that, you can go anywhere in Thailand. This is called test and go. Another big change is that travelers don't need to apply for a COE, certificate of entry. They must now register with Thailand Pass. Starting our trip from Toronto, we head over to San Francisco. And from there, we took one of the longest flights to Singapore on Singapore Airlines. And we got to experience business class, which was so amazing. The food was delicious. And all I could think about was, yes, I can lay flat down on this long, long flight. It was a great experience and I'm glad I did it. And from Singapore, we headed over to Phuket. We stayed at the Intercontinental Hotel and Resorts, which will be a separate video on the resort itself, but it was such a magical time. First stop is the Blue Elephant Cooking School. I am starving and Thai food is one of my favorite cuisines ever. So we are taking some lessons on how to cook Thai food. We make a trip to the local Thai market, groceries, fresh fruits, vegetables and the shiny color in the texture is the good one inside we got our Thai eggplants okay. we're good very good good job I have no money <laughs> <laughs> so I have run <laughs> all right guys this is my favorite fruit oh, here in Thailand it's called the sour mango I love it with some chili salt the best way to eat it you get your sour salty spicy all the yummy flavors honey so we're gonna get some sour mango. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna try it. Yeah. Aroma. It's so good. <laughs> Actually, Thai curry plate, we have three colors. We have green, red, and yellow. Oh, and lemongrass as well. Lemongrass. The fresh one like this, you don't have to soak in the water. You just cook directly. It is one thing to cook food, but to go out to the local market to pick out these ingredients with the chef was truly an experience. I learned so much about Thai cuisine, the herbs, the vegetables, the fruits, the spices. I honestly recommend this to everyone visiting Phuket. All right, here we are in the Blue Elephant cooking class. Andrew, are we excited? We are. It's like being back in school, but yes. in the best way, because we're learning how to cook. guys next dish we are making tom yum soup one of my favorites so let's get going main ingredients it wouldn't be without these here on to our next adventure we headed over to Khao Prathiao National Park where we trekked through the amazing rainforest we saw some beautiful waterfalls I got to swim a little take some photos for Instagram it was beautiful Right, next stop, ATVing. I had so much fun here at ATV Phuket. It was raining, but I'm a adventurous kind of girl. I like to get my hands dirty and muddy. And here we are in the forest, ATVing, checking out mangroves. It was so much fun. Few things were closed, but some malls were open like this one here at Central Phuket. Everyone was wearing masks. I felt super safe. I did massages, I went to shop for fruits, checked out some local stores and designers. 
definitely a recommendation if you are coming to Phuket. All right guys, my favorite fruit in Thailand is the sour mango. I just got myself some for 30 baht. All right guys, here we are at Nakha Market. If you're traveling to Phuket, you cannot miss the night markets. This is Nakha Market, and I got to try out some delicious food here. Desserts, fresh fruits. There was also a souvenir section. I bought some elephant pants for my friends. Mango soap, they make really good presents. Hi guys, we are here at Ba Bang Rong and today we are doing some art on this beautiful canvas bag. And you know what? I'm obsessed with mama noodles, like obsessed. And it's made from Thailand, made in Thailand. So I'm gonna draw this mama noodle package <laughs> on this. So I'm obsessed. So let's go. You guys, my favorite mama noodles. Like, I grew, grew up on this, okay? This is all we had to eat. <laughs> if you know, you know, all right? Yellow color, this one is good inside, very, very sweet. We, today we have some product for you. We make the pineapple juice for you. And right now we have the gardener. We want to show for you how we can cut the pineapple from the tree. One, two, three. Wow, uh -huh. muscle. Muscle. All right, let's not lie. My favorite part in Thailand is the spa, the massages. It is the best in the world. I just love the oil massage, the aromatherapy. Uh, no other place than the Oasis Spa in Phuket. One of my favorite experiences on this trip was getting on a catamaran at Chalong Bay Pier and heading over to Coral Island where we got to swim, snorkel, crystal clear water. They were so sweet. We had fresh fruits and delicious treats, but uh, it was such a highlight of my trip. If you're ever in Phuket, you need to rent a boat and check out the islands. We are on the boat. We're about to go see the sunset. That was so much fun at Coral Island. So many beautiful saltwater fish. I swear I saw Finding Nemo, the clownfishes, and just such beautiful clear waters. I had so much fun. So if you're into that next time, make sure you guys rent a boat and go check out Coral Island because it is worth it. When I travel somewhere, I want to learn about the history, about the place, the culture. And I definitely had to check out Old Town Phuket where everything started. The colorful buildings, the shops, the restaurants. I got to try out some traditional Thai attire. We checked out some local souvenir shops and also got to check out the Chinatown part in Old Town Phuket. I got to cook. I got to try out some delicious food, but yes, a must-see if you're in Phuket is the Old Town Phuket. So much richness and history. A 
Another highlight of my trip was the elephant sanctuary. They are such beautiful, majestic animals, and I got to feed them, bathe them, and swim with them. Unfortunately, I lost some of my footages, so this is all I have. But don't forget about surfing as well. That was my first time ever, and the fact that I got to do it in Thailand was magical. An amazing resort that I got to stay at at Patan Beach was La Flora. They are the only resort that offers pool villas beachfront at Patan. Here's a little tour of my villa. One of the doors open to the main pool. while the other one open to my own private pool. And the amazing part was it was only steps to Patong Beach. Pose, fashion, work, let's go. All right guys, here we are at Patong Beach. If you're planning to travel to Phuket and you see one of these trucks, please check it out. It is like a club on wheels. I had so much fun on it. We called it the free Britney truck. We played Britney Spears on it, but unfortunately I cannot play Britney Spears on it because copyright issues, hello. But definitely check it out and tip your driver because it is so much fun. Thailand is my favorite place to travel in the world. It is beautiful, the hospitality is impeccable, delicious fruits, clear beaches. I honestly recommend Thailand to everyone. This is part two of four. My next two are the other resorts that I stayed at, the Intercontinental Resort and also Bunyan Tree Phuket. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.